the one providing the scoring, Dr. J. And Lim is now coming back in for Pumarit. Obviously, Norman feels confident with Agustin and that shot earlier, and he feels that uh, also with the Capacio sitting on the bench, it's now time to bring some boy back in, no? Because they can never really get that cr crowd exploding for them unless some boy comes up with his heroics. And Frankie Lim is well aware of that. Here's one. Right there and there, immediately. He, he waited for Capacio to sit down on the part of the coaching staff of San Miguel, and when he did, that's when he bought in quickly some balls. And Sam Lim had the right thing in his mind to take it strong, gain that first quick step. Well, he has one of the quickest steps going to the right. I have been watching him all these years, and I cannot cease to be amazed by his grace. I, on the other hand, I am never tired of watching the Skywalker at work. I well, guess four, neither of the fans. Yes, four straight points here for Samboy. The lead is down to 11. Remember that game against Swift where San Miguel was down by as large as 15. Samboy took over. Just that San Miguel couldn't go all the way. Here's Samboy Lim. Starts flying! That's the worst thing to do is to foul him in open court because you know he's going to take it strong and Samboy again gets another opportunity for a three-point play. Right? Come alive in the aerobics of Samboy. Six straight points for it. Montre has concern that maybe the Udles might just be watching him. Well, remember that was expressed uh, by Chino Trinidad that you know you can be confident, but it's not over. Yes. So pay attention to the game, guys. And Samboy coming out now like a comet here. <laughs> <laughs> It's just that he's not hitting his comet. He comes just once every so well, here in the third quarter. We have three and a half minutes to go. Capacho is lost in the shuffle. Lim goes up. It goes! His act is now being... And, uh, we've always known that you've loved literature as we watch the flight of Samboy Lim. Should you write an ode to that, the flight of the Skywalker? <laughs> the way it should be. If you're going to play a man out, it really must be a big struggle. And Opportunity again. Frankie Lim picks up his fourth personal crowd, crowd bristling with excitement, about to throw clench fists into the air had that gone in. Well, you can see what's happening now for some boy. He's moving around from weak side to strong side, screens are being provided. All he needs is just that one motion to get ahead of the guy defending against him, which he did not have in the beginning. Rosella is to see if he can uh, pick up Samboy or try to help out Capacho against Samboy. 2.40 remaining here in the third. Both teams are now in the penalty set. Samboy Lim. And the setup. Double team is there. They'll try to find a new route. Be a shooting situation for the Skywalker. But you know, when you trap him, you better make sure he does not squeeze into you. Because if he does squeeze into you, he'll again have that step, and what you're going to do is put your knees there. So he squeezes in, and Rosella is called for the foul. You know, it's maybe sounding too, too simplistic. It's almost like step yes, step no, step yes, step no, then he'll go. So you really have, when you do the sandwich, really have to clamp it down on him as he takes care of the first free throw. Well, Durham took care of them for a moment there with a seven-point run of his own. But ever since Samboy came in, as Capacio had to sit down for a while, Samboy has gone wild here. First Cirque. <laughs> and they have cut the lead down to seven now. Get the people to help. And he was going to kick it back there. Now Samboy Lim is amply covered by Capacio. Durham swings it over to Romanes. There's Samboy Lim. The side step in motion. The one-handed caught. Yeah. What a quarter for him. Then, after a struggling start, has managed to chip in five points. Samboy Lim and Norman. This is their largest advantage. Samboy Lim underneath. 